unbendable arm, usually we do with one arm jutting out in front of us. And in the beginning, we, we do stand in hunting a very stable stance. So that, let's try that. Now, the thing to understand is that unbendable arm is, you don't do it for a party trick to impress people as such. It is, it is a biofeedback. Here's my biofeedback computer, all right? And he's going to find out if I'm unified or not and to what degree I'm unified, all right? So if I, if I go floppy, no concentration and floppy body, and he does that, my arm bend. I go floppy, and this natural thing should happen. Okay, I'm totally weak here. Yeah. We don't want to be weak. Okay, so the next step up is to make us a, a tense arm. And stronger than before, but after a while, it bends. Okay, I start to get tight. Even if I'm strong and I can resist him, I have to concentrate. I have to concentrate on him. If I stop concentrating, <sighs> quickly lose my strength. So, with our bend balloon, well, we'll see. See, give me a test. Okay, so, you really can't see it. You can't see it, what, what's happening. You, you don't know if he's, is he really trying to bend my arm? Maybe he doesn't even feel like he's really really trying to sometimes. It's just, <coughs> you can't bend it at all. Okay, so uh, some people think that it's some uh, biomechanics or chemistry, some special physics. I'm sure that's, that's part of it. You know, what we learn is mind and body unity and there are principles of mind and body. But usually uh, people who Think of it just as a parlor trick. Um, they, they don't have very much understanding of unbendable arm. Let's try try it if I bend my arm like this. Now, now it's actually bent, but I've bent it myself. Now I'm going to, instead of sending my focus over there like before, I'm going to send it up here where I'm pointing. Same thing again. Alright? Ah, but it's related to the way I'm standing, I hear you ask. Alright, well I'll stand broadside on. Let's see. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, we'll do it like this. So this would be a great pilot trick if you did it at a party. But that's not the point. We don't do it to impress people. This is a test, all right? Yes, they could maybe muscle my arm in a way that it doesn't bend and injure my arm. But in that case, if, if I know that they're going to do that, I would be using Aikido. Be using our verbal arm and doing Aikido techniques to protect myself. But we're doing a test to see if I'm unified in mind and body. All right? So, oh, keep, keep it on, please. And so, oh, must be like, have I got amazing concentration or something like that? I can have a little conversation. Just ask me a question. Nothing too personal, please. How's your day today? So, say, where are the kids? Why today? Oh, Kay's a bit sick today, so I couldn't turn up to the dojo. All right. So my arm has been basically horizontal. What if, what if I make it down here? You two guys try and bend my arm this way. Okay. Let's see, see what happens. Go for it. Now I can feel, I can feel that tension. And you probably can't see it on camera, but my hands, my veins are sticking out. Because my blood flows have <laughs> been stopped a bit. But really, go for it, guys. Go for it. And 
and I can even stretch my arm out. Let me try this. Okay, please, please put, put it on again. I want to swap sides. Okay, keep, keep it on. Okay? No matter what I do, keep it on. Parlor trick. <laughs> Pretty darn good parlor trick, eh? We don't do it just to show off to people. We do it so that we know that we can do our Aikido under very adverse circumstances. But my arms have been in front of me. What about if they're behind me? That's a very awkward position. Now I can feel it on me more because they're, they're kind of pulling me back as well. So I, I want to move into this. My body wants to move into the natural position, right? This is unnatural. So, how about, uh, one of the students asked me, could you use unbendable arm to prevent somebody from cranking your arm behind your back? Which would be very useful, right? I already knew the answer to that. But, we'll just try it. Let's, let's just try it with uh, one person at first. So, I'm just going to stand here, keeping unbendable arm, keeping unified, and Warwick, Warwick, you're going to try and do this right behind me, okay? Let's see. Good. I was just testing to make sure it's doing the right thing. Actually, it went floppy. The other thing that skeptics might say is, ah, but he's setting them up. He's actually giving them psychological clues and you know, cues. Like, now I'm making them a bit more, now I'm going floppy. Alright, so maybe a slight hypnosis. No, we've got to do it so that they don't know which one we're doing. Alright? And we'd see what the results are. If I think that I'm unified, and he actually manages to do that, then I actually was not unified properly. Okay? 